Yo, shout out to my seventh hour language arts class. Y'all a bunch of crazies, but you want a shout out, so here we go. Now let's go catch the smallmouth bass. Well, that concludes another episode of Bass with Buzz Hunter Fish. Big shout out to Greg Zellers, owner of Bite Me Tackle out of Winnemac, Indiana. Makes the best lead heads you'll ever gonna find anywhere. Anyway, so we're on this uh, body of water, which several of you have probably recognized. You think you know what it is? Put it in the comments. Let's see if you know what it was. Man, we, we actually found kind of a tough bite. You know, this body of water is about 2,000 acres, very clear. It's November 13th. Actually, we can't even remember the date that we were debating all day. It's either November 10th or 14th or something like that. Somewhere in there. Yeah, somewhere in there. And we've had some really cold temperatures moving this past week. Water temp is 45 to 47 degrees, gin clear. I mean, it was, and the day itself was ultra calm, which to me made the fishing tough, Greg. So you know this lake probably better than I do. If you had to analyze the bite, which we were 20 to 25 fish we caught today, mostly small mouth. There's several of them. Oh, yeah. That's a camera, too. Yeah, here you can get it. How do you not bite? Come on. Oh, I didn't throw it behind you. There you go. There it is, one. There we go. There's number one for the day, Greg Zeller. We just saw a bunch of fish schooling, just jumping out there. There's number one on that monkey punch. I think it's about to get on here. Hunter fish. Couple walleye, couple largemouth. How would you assess the day? For the conditions, for not having the wind we had, I'd say it was a fair day. Um, you know, if we'd had some more wind, either direction, any direction, it'd have been better than what it was probably. Yeah. But all in all, I think we had a good day catching fish and blade baits. Yeah. Oh, oh, you got yourself a little small mouth again. Dick <laughs> uh, Yes, green. Now we got a green fish. It's the first large mouth of the day, isn't it? There we go, another small one. You know what that is, Greg? That's having a blast with small mouth bass. Jump for it, beautiful. Jump! Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Oh, swing him in the boat! You carry fried it! Ooh, yeah, I'd say so. You know there's 100 fish, no nets allowed. There you go! That's a small mouth. And you got that on a nice looking blade bait there. A little color to it. Yeah! Yeah, fall time, it's cold. I mean, we took off today, it was 36 degrees outside, which frankly, we thought was pretty balmy. We love these kind of conditions. Well, we're crazy, we're a little nutty, but you would think nice weather would equal good fishing in when it's that cold, but it's just simply not the case. You want a healthy chop in the water. You want overcast skies, and man, we had a whole bunch of really calm, sunny conditions. Right now, it's starting to blow a little bit, a little bit, that's because we're getting ready to get off the lake, so they're, they're probably eating like crazy right now. But I caught several with blade bait, as did you. You also had several on your jerk bait. Several on jerk bait. I saw him come up. Whoa! Oh. Missed him. I saw him come up. I saw him get bait. That's pretty cool. There he is. Got him? Yes, yeah, sir. Got yourself a smallmouth. Look at the one with him. Oh, you got another there with him. All right. Throwing a jerk bait. Saw, actually saw him busting the surface here. 46 degree water. Yeah, fat sucker. It's crazy the weight they put on this time of year. Isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It is, though. Now, you're, if you don't mind, how are you working that bait? Throw it out. Long pause. I mean, maybe not a long pause. Oh, it was Six. long incredibly long 
seven to nine seconds, maybe ten at the most. I'm saying I can't, I can't, I can't do that. I'm lucky to get a quarter of a second now. But I mean, literally eight, nine seconds on your pauses. There you are. Oh shoot! You see that one? Oh yes, sir. What happened, Greg? Found some small mouth schooling. Yeah, you say you saw some schooling. What do you mean? Pushing shad up out of the water in 46 degree water. They're out there jumping, eating bait, right? All the way out of the water. Got a little school of them. All right, let's set See. them up. Most, most of our fish, believe it or not, were between eight and four foot of water. And we've estimate 70% of them we saw busting the surface eating shad or minnows or bait of some sort. And that's where we threw in baits with your jerk bait, blade bait, really caught some fish. So Greg was pretty acute in his observations about the types of spots that were holding fish. Yeah, the smallmouth, they they held on the sand spots, you know, they had some small grass patches around, but nothing nothing as far as what you call a weed bed necessarily hold them. Um, you know, it was supposed to be cloudy, it ended up being sunny most of the day. Sometimes them smallmouth, they just like to bury themselves on that top of that sand and just hold there and wait for something to come by. Oh, it's a blackie. Oh, look how dark he is. What a beautiful fish. Get in here. Holy God, that's a beautiful smallmouth bass. We're having a blast with the smallmouth bass. Dude. Yeah, shoot, these smallmouth are definitely roaming the sand flats in between weed beds. And, and man, I, we, with as calm as it is, I think honestly the calm weather is our biggest enemy. And you, you would think maybe some soft plastics would work and we got uh, a couple on, uh, excuse me, a monkey punch. But man, the blade bait and jerk bait have been our best, best bait. And we're, you know, we're piecing together quite a few fish. We actually saw Oh man, we saw quite a few fish and we saw some quality smallmouth just, just roaming in these sand flats. Uh, anywhere between, like I said, four and eight foot deep, we saw some that would have really made our day into a great day. Of course, of course, they didn't bite for us today, but they're definitely out there. And Greg was right. I mean, they're hanging out in those sandy areas, kind of in between weed beds. So it's kind of, are they relating to weeds? Kind of. You know, they had to be the sand, they were in the sand around the weeds. So, you know, they say it's a sand grass combination is what those fish were relating to. Yeah, and I think you nailed it there. I mean, it's what it was as far as, unless they're sitting out in the middle of nowhere because their bait's using the small grass that's around mm -hmm. and as hard as they have to hit them to push them to the surface like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, we say it was kind of a slow bite, but we still caught over 20 fish in about almost six full hours of fishing. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Greg Zeller, for Bite Me Tackle, for sh uh, sharing a day with me. And you better check out the next video because we're going to share some of his products and why they're the best in the business. So until the next time, Hunter Fish having a blast with smallmouth bass. See you on the water.